Hi everyone, we're going to write a sequence that has x number of geometric means between a and b. These are the three problems that we're going to do. So I just wanted to write them out and um, let's get started. So the first one we're going to do is three geometric means between 256 and 81. So basically what we're going to have is 256 and we need three in between. So that's going to be one, two, three. And our last uh, term is 81. We're going to use ace of n, which is your last term, equals your first term times your common ratio to the n minus one. So basically what you do is we're going to write this as 81 equals 256 times r to the 5 minus 1. So this is going to be 81 over 256 equals r to the 4th. Now to solve for r, you're going to 4th root both sides. Don't forget your plus and minus. And so r equals plus or minus 3 fourths. So basically what you're going to do is just multiply these. Uh, you're going to multiply 256 times negative 3 fourths. And that's going to give you plus or minus 192. And you're going to take plus or minus 192 times, um, or actually you could just take 92 because you're going to get the positive. So 192 times uh, negative 3 fourths. And that gives you plus or minus 144. You can write uh, this out if you want. The next one's going to be 144 times negative 3 fourths, um, which is actually plus or minus, sorry. And that's going to give you plus or minus 108. And there's your three geometric means. Okay, the next one we have is um, two geometric means between negative two, so there's your two in between negative two and 54. Again, we're using our nth term formula, explicit formula, and we gotta find r. So we have 54 equals negative two times r, and this time we have four, our n equals four. So that's going to be 4 minus 1. You divide both sides by negative 2, and you get negative 27 equals um, r cubed. Then cube root both sides. And you get r equals 3. So basically, you're just multiplying everything by 3. Negative 2 times 3 negative 6. Ne Let me write it out here. Negative 6 times 3 is um, negative 27. Um, then we have negative 27 times 3 it should be, did I write it down wrong? Uh, let's see. should be 54. This should be positive 6. What am I doing wrong? So then we're multiplying by negative 3. So it's negative 2 times, uh, oh, this is negative 3. That was negative. I knew something was wrong. You already knew that, right? So this is negative 3. So that would be positive 6. And then so... Positive 6 times negative 3 
is basically negative um, 18. I'm so sorry. And then eight negative uh, 18. times negative 3 equals 54. Good. See? That's what you write my numbers down right. All right, the last one, so with the fraction, we have our, we're trying to find the um, one geometric mean between 4 sevenths and 7. So my last term is 7, my first term is 4 sevenths, and I have R, to the 3 minus 1, because n is 3. We have three terms. So this would be r squared. You divide both sides, or you can multiply everything through by 7 over 4, and you're going to get 49. So I'm just going to multiply everything through by 7 over 4. So you get 49 over 4 equals r squared. You square root both sides and you're going to get um, r equals plus or minus square root of 49 over 4, which is plus or minus uh, 7 over 2. So all we have to do is multiply 4 over 7 times um, plus or minus 7 over 2, and uh, these will cancel, and this cancels, uh, 2 goes into for two times, so we get plus or minus two here. Okay, that's all. Thank you, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.